Greetings, fellas and people from the interwebs. I'm your host for this 2.56 p.m. tutorial of making dubstep, comma, DJ Knight. I'm not really a DJ, but neither are you, so whatever. Let's get to the tutorial. But before we do, I would like to point out these seven lovely tutorials in FL Studio on how to do a whole bunch of random shit, like setting up your program, making some noise, effects, automation, and completing a song. And within each video, I go into a little bit more detail using a notepad, how professional am I, end bracket, um, on, yeah, just more in-depth information about what we do at the beginning of every uh, tutorial. And also at the end, I go on to what's happening next, so you know what's going to happen. Um, the reason why I'm pointing this out is because I get an abundant amount of um, comments from people who ask me really basic questions. Uh, I can't really think of any basic questions from the top of my head, but uh, yeah, most of which I don't reply to simply because they're so basic and also they're usually pretty difficult to answer using just text. Like heaps of people ask for help in doing this or they don't know how to open up a plugin, just really basic questions like that. And for those people who feel like they're going to ask a question, a very basic question, have a look at these. I mean, they are kind of lengthy at 15 minutes each or just under or just over 15 minutes each. But um, if you have questions like that, that means you don't really know the plugin, uh, FL Studio that well. So this would benefit you anyways if you watched all or some of them whenever you have a question. So, I highly recommend you case them out because they will help you. You will learn a lot about the program because I do go into detail, a lot of detail, as to how certain programs or how certain plugins work, um, how so-and-so works and all that sort of shit. Um, you know, but that's two minutes of this tutorial gone and as you can tell by this splash fucking screen overlay thing of bandycam.com up oh, at the very top here, I'm using another program instead of Fraps called Vandicam. And this is an unpaid version. It gives me 10 minutes of recording before the recording stops and I have to start it again. So I'm just going to try and fit this entire thing within that 10 minute bracket. So let's stop having a look at these and have a look at some of. Oh, look, there's another one. Expanding your VST plugin collection. Uh, here we go. Uh, sorry, clearly this is unrehearsed, even though this is like the fifth attempt. Um, yeah, so if you're watching this video, chances are you're well aware of my How to Make Dubstep and FL Studio tutorials, um, most of which use Citrus, also Harmer, and also the latest one, which is how to do it in uh, using FM8. Sorry, not in FM8, but how to use FM8 and create a dubstep bass wobble. And you guys are still keen to work out other methods. So here is a fourth plugin. It's, a F, it's an image line core plugin, which means it comes with any version of FL Studio that you purchase. Uh, I'm pretty sure it even comes in the demo version as well. And it's a very, very basic plugin. This is it here. It's called 3XOSC. Now to open it up, you just right click, insert or replace. Chances are you want to insert, not replace instrument. And there it is, 3XOSC. And this is what it looks like and sounds like when you first open up the plugin. Sort of sounds like an organ. Now, let's have a look at this a bit further. We can see that we're using three oscillators and each oscillator has the ability to change its wave shape. And we also have an amplitude modulator here and the phase randomness for that. I'm not really sure exactly what that means. I'm just reading the description up in this uh, information bar here as you put your mouse over it. See how it changes. But um, yeah, this is actually not a bad plugin. You can make some really cool sounds with it, most of which are quite gritty. So most of, pe most of you will enjoy that when you try and create your dubstep. Now, we're not going to work on making a wobble from scratch because I've already made one right here. So, we've got the first and third oscillators inverted. That's what this little box does. The second one is not inverted. The first oscillator is using a sine wave. The second one is using this weird sort of like hybrid sine wave and square wave. And the third one is using a sawtooth. Now, we've got a number of knobs and parameters for each oscillator, like the stereo phase offset, the detune, 
the panning, the course, which is just the um, transposition, so you can go down 12 semitones, and that's down an octave. 12 semitones is one octave, whether it be minus 12 or plus 12. That's up an octave, and that's up two octaves, and that's the maximum. And then you've got your fine tune in cents. And I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure 100 cents is uh, one semitone or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really know much about the music theory of these things, but I still make music anyways. How about that? Um, <laughs> yeah. So I've made a very basic uh, bass. It's not exactly a wobble, but it's a very similar uh, setup to a wobble because you can use this with a wobble. Um, we've got our automation here with a fast LP, which dictates the grittiness of the wobble. And also in channel 2, which is what this plugin is uh, wired through, we've got an overdrive, fast LP, a reverb, a sound organizer, and a filter. You don't need to use any of these. This is just what I've used to try and create the sound that I've wanted to create, which is this. Yeah, that's really it. That's most of the tutorial done. Um, you can see I've got a first oscillator here, which in pattern 2, you'll see, has a nice little video game sound to it. Whoops. And that too was created using the 3XIC plugin, using a sine wave and two hybrid waves. I don't know what they're called. If you do know, please tell me. Um, but yeah, there's really not much to this plugin. It is pretty extensive. You can also go into, uh, not the sample properties, but on the instrument properties, the miscellaneous properties, and the function properties. Fat mode is really good. Gives it a little bit more grit. But, uh, yeah. But the main star of this whole operation is the fast LP, which is what this automation is for. And you could simply, easily just uh, make this wobble. So that's essentially a wobble right there. Wow, wow. And uh, you can make it as fast or as slow as you want or whatever time. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, as I said before, this isn't going to be a super duper tutorial. This is just uh, a discovery of mine. A lot of people have probably discovered 3XOIC. But uh, just for the sake of my tutorials, I thought I'd slap this in just so you guys know that there is programs out there, very simple plugins, uh, not programs, sorry, plugins, that can achieve some pretty nice sounds, and uh, it's a core plugin, so it comes with any version of FL Studio. And just lastly, if you can't find it in this list of plugins here, just click on more, and there it is at the top. If it, chances are it won't have that little F next to it, so if it doesn't, put the F and close it, and it will appear in that list then. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Once again, oh yeah, the blood overdrive real quick. Uh, that's what gives it its depth in color. So just quickly, I'll turn it off. <coughs> and it sounds a lot more tame, as you can tell. All right, well, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. We're about to hit the 10 minute mark. So Bandy Cam is gonna stop recording any time. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, feel free to like it and share it. And you know, if you want to see more videos from me, feel free to subscribe. That'll be quite handy. And uh, yeah, start making some fucking nice dubstep for me and send, send it as a video response if you want. I'll case it out and tell you what I think. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Very basic, very short and sweet, like I said before. Um, yeah, 3XOSC, give it a go and let me know how, how you went. Alright, cheers guys, I'll see you again soon.